Let me see. All right, hold on. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Hold on. Let's see. All right, little up. All right, all right, guys. Um, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Josh. I'm back with another one anyway video. Thankfully, hopefully, I'm glad. I wanted to make another one anyway video. Basically, just tell you like pretty much an update on my waves. Tell y'all what's going on. Tell y'all what I've been doing lately, and then also my cuts. Like kind of changes my cuts when I'm planning on doing with uh, different hairstyles, different fades, and everything. So if you're interested in one of the waves, this is a channel for you. And then also too, if you do like my waves, I will have more wave videos for you. So make sure you subscribe, like, comment, everything like that. Ask me any questions. I will get back to you on that. So basically on my one anyways, what I've been doing is getting like higher phases. I was saying, I believe last week. So I've been getting higher phase. And then also I've been uh, testing out different lengths on how I want my, my hair. But, um, Generally, what I'm doing is kind of restarting my pattern a little bit. Um, when you get your hair cut lower, depending on how long you've been wolfing and everything like that, it changes your pattern. So what I'm doing is shifting my pattern a little bit to make sure that it's deeper and I have a better wolf. So sometimes that can be a thing if you're wanting to be have deeper, better connections, is that you have to restart your pattern, cut it a little bit lower. You don't have to scalp, but just kind of restart the whole pattern so that way you have fresher, newer waves better hair follicles, better like hair texture. And I achieved that just, you know, just taking a little bit more off and then growing in new waves, you know what I'm saying? Better routine, better products and everything. So I've been using my straight brush lately, even using the Diane just because it's not as tough. And then, you know, I've, I pretty much started out with this brush. So it's not as curved, but sometimes I switch because I have like a collection of brushes. I kind of switch between this one and this is a really nice brush for me. Um, and then I've been combining this with uh, Sporting Waves, as you guys know, and then I use like an olive oil conditioner, hair conditioner, like it's like a castor oil as well. Been using that, just wanna make sure my hair is really, really healthy for my next wolf, because that's very, very important because that's gonna pretty much determine my haircut for different pictures I may take. So that's very important. Just growing your hair, make sure that you're doing everything to go for like washing, like your methods, your brushing, Every, every, everything just adds up to make sure your hair is like perfect. So understanding like staying on your routine, doing the day-to-day -day, uh, things like just brushing or your do-rag and everything helps out have a better wolf so your hair isn't as crazy and it's more trained and manageable. So that's what I'm going for. That's why my hair's a little bit longer. I mean, a little bit, that's why my hair's a little bit shorter. Excuse me, so that way, you know, I'm, I have better, a better cuts because that's another thing too when you're on your consistent grind and you're using like good products and then you're using a good uh, method, it just makes make your haircuts are better. It makes your haircuts a lot better and then they're more consistent. So you don't have to worry about your hair being wavy one time and not so wavy the next time. The way you cut back on that is just making sure that you're on your routines and methods, but also making sure if your hair is not where you want it to be, you're cutting it off and you're restarting. Uh, because, I mean, you can work out the kinks, you can kind of do it, but sometimes it's too late for your hair. Uh, you can take bods and everything like that, but sometimes it's just better to just start over, start fresh, and give yourself time to fix the mistakes that you either have made by either not wearing your do-rag or not brushing enough, and that's just pretty much what I'm doing. I also wanted to speak on, I was getting my hair cut like every week. I was planning on doing that, but the main issue with that is uh, I feel like so I, feel, I feel like my skin is like kind of maybe a little bit more sensitive with that So it's like I have to be more mindful of it because you know when you're getting haircut constantly every every week That's a lot of clipper work of since like someone lining you up everything like that So it can irritate your skin a little bit. So I'm thinking about I may be doing a week and a half not necessarily a whole Every week, you know, what I'm saying I may do a little bit longer than that just kind of if I feel like I need it but sometimes you know, when you get it cut every week, you may cut too low and it kind of varies. So two weeks is generally my sweet spot, but I'm still trying to tweak if I can get more cuts in between there because as you know, it's like holiday season, it'll be pictures and everything like that. So that's very important to make sure you have a good cut, you have your waves and it's shining, it's good and it's, it's looking nice. So that's really what I'm doing for that. And then also I really want to transition to like making my shorts a lot better, like having my short content for YouTube, so I wanna make sure my hair is as best as possible so that way I can get more people to the one anyway and to my channel and everything like that. So that is coming. 
I uh, really want to make sure my ways are really, really good, like they have been in the past. Thank God for like my old videos that like my ways are really good. So it brings, still brings people to my channel and then people still watch my videos, which is really, really good. I'm very, very thankful for that. But uh, that's really what I don't want to touch on on that. So next, as I always talk about, is Tresemme for the shampoo and conditioner. I am still using that for you guys. Um, I haven't really switched back to natural yet. The natural shampoos and conditioners just really haven't been doing that well in cleaning my scalp and my hair, which is a big problem for me because I don't like that. I like to know that my hair is clean and I like to know that I'm not having any dandruff issues and I have been noticing that with some natural products. So I do also know that with natural products, you can use like peppermint oil, you can use tea tree oil and everything like that. But you know, I, I'm just kind of, I'm kind of really liking Tresemme right now, like just to be honest with you guys. So you guys could switch to that or you can stay with natural depending on how good it is for you. But for me, I believe the one that I got, I just was getting flakes. I'm gonna go back to my other combination soon. I will have a video on that when I transition back to that. So I, I can show y'all like, okay, this is good. This is what gave me the best results and everything like that. So no flakes, no dandruff, no product buildup. I need to make sure like my hair is getting like my shampoo and conditioner is getting rid of all that stuff because that's just not a good feeling. It's just, it's clumpy, it's not clean feeling. And you, you know, you really don't want that. Especially if you have a YouTube channel, you just don't want that. And I, I feel like I have a good product. So that's that. Um, I'm also still using Torino Pro, my Torino Pro and then my Diane, as I'm using my Diane. But make sure you guys too are wearing your durag as much as possible. That's been another game changer for me. Like make sure my wolves are a lot better because I wasn't wearing my durag at first a lot. Like I wasn't wearing it like every day. Uh, well, I was wearing it every day, but I wasn't wearing it as much as I am now. Like if I wake up, like I still have it on a little bit longer. Even if I'm going somewhere, if I'm doing errands or something like that, I still may have it on. And that's just making sure my hair is good for the next day. Because it's like the longer you wear, it's like it saves the progress for the next day. It saves the progress for the next night, you know, next event you may go to. So just wearing it more often. Getting to make sure your hair is trained. It's very, very good for you guys. So keep that in mind, you know. If you can wear your do-rag, wear it. And then even too, I don't recommend this, but you know, if you haven't been the best on your methods, you can still moisturize your hair or keep locking the moisture with your do-rag. So you can just throw it on um, wh whatever hairstyle you have. And then, you know, if you have locks, if you have longer hair, if you have straight hair, short hair, like curly, kinky hair, you can still wear your do-rag. It's universal for everybody who's watching. So you can just wear it and then make sure your hair is like keeping the moisture and your hair is, is as shiny and as good as possible. So just make sure you're wearing that, make sure you're doing that, staying up to date on that. And that's what just makes sure that your hair is not losing progress. And then too, that's how you bounce back if you are losing progress or if you, you know you haven't been slacking a little bit. So that's really everything I really want to talk to you guys about. Uh, I want to make sure you guys are update on my routine, my thoughts, and really what I'm doing for my channel. So that's pretty much the end of the video. If you liked the video, make sure you like the video. Ask me any questions down below. Add me on Snapchat too. My Snapchat is burritos or die. Um, trying to figure out my editing software so I can have that somewhere, but you know, I still want these videos out, so I'll have that coming out soon. But thanks so much for watching. I'll be back in my next video. I will have more short content too coming up soon, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back. <laughs>